This 10th trading week of 2013 comes to a close with investors sending indices to new record highs. Hi everyone, I'm Tracy Fitzpatrick. Welcome to the Weekly Market Wrap for March 8, 2013. The S&P 500, the Nasdaq and the Dow Jones Industrial Average were all higher for the week. Crude oil futures are higher this week, trading around 91.82 per barrel on Friday afternoon. And gold futures are lower this week, trading at 1,578.80 an ounce in afternoon trading. In notable economic news this week, the Commerce Department announced on Wednesday that non-defense capital goods orders, excluding aircraft, increased by 6.3 percent, the biggest gain since December 2011. The measure fell by 0.3 percent in December. Economists had expected this category to increase by 0.02 percent. Durable goods orders, excluding transportation, increased by 1.9 percent, above economists' expectations of 0.02 percent. In corporate news this week, Standard Motor Products announced that it earned $5.9 million, or $0.26 cents per share, down 80 percent to $29.3 million, or $1.28 per share, in the most recent fiscal quarter. Excluding items, profits increased to an adjusted $0.28. Cents. Revenue increased by 10 percent to $192.4 million from $174.2 million. This was mainly due to contributions from acquisitions. Office supply company Staples announced that net income dropped to $78.1 million, or $0.12 cents per share, for the fourth quarter, down from $283.6 million, or $0.41 cents per share, in the same period last year. Excluding items, the company earned $0.46 cents per share, beating estimates by 0.01 per share. Sales increased by 3% to $6.56 billion, but were well below estimates of $6.72 billion. The company forecast earnings of $1.30 to $1.35 for the full year, below estimates of $1.43 per share. The company also raised the quarterly dividend by 9% to $0.12 cents per share. And Kroger announced that it earned $0.77 cents per share in the fourth quarter, beating analysts' estimates of $0.70 cents per share. Adjusted net income for the quarter increased by 14 percent to 403 million. The company generated same-store sales growth of 3 percent, down from 3.2 percent last quarter, but representing 37 straight quarters of increases. Total sales were 13 percent higher to 24.2 billion, beating estimates of 24 billion. Full-year profits per share increased by 16 percent to 2.52, while 2012 revenue increased to 96.8 billion, and same-store sales increased by 3.5 percent. Shares are higher by about 3.3 percent. And Jamba announced that it lost nine cents per share during the fourth quarter of 2012, beating estimates by a penny, and ahead of the loss of 15 cents per share in the same period last year. This mainly due to growing efficiency. For the full year, the company lost three cents per share versus 16 cents per share in the same period last year. Revenue for the quarter was flat year over year at 44.2 billion, but was below estimates of 46 million. For the full year, revenues increased by 1% to 228.8 million. Workday announced that it lost 16 cents per share during the fourth quarter of fiscal 2013, lower than the loss of 73 cents per share reported in the same period last year. Revenue increased by 88.7% to 81.6 million, beating estimates of 78 million. Subscription revenue increased by 105% to 59.6 million, while service revenue increased by 55% to 21.9 million. This is the Weekly Market Wrap for Friday, March 18th, 2013. Please join us on Monday for the Week Ahead Market Report. For PassFail.com, I'm Tracy Fitzpatrick taking you behind the ticker.